I'm Karen Ibar and welcome back to Holo Holo, your top entertainment and lifestyle show for Asian Pacific Americans. Here on the show, I'm always stressing the importance of our sharing our Asian and Asian Pacific American stories. Joining us now are two young individuals that are doing the same through a program called Filipino Cultural School. We have joining us today is Paulo Roca and Zarina De Jesus, the co-presidents of Filipino Cultural School. Welcome back, guys. I know it's been a year since you yes. come here. Yes, thanks for having yeah, us. Yes. <laughs> Now, first, for those that don't know, tell me a little bit about Filipino Cultural School. Okay, so Filipino Cultural School, otherwise known as FCS, is a program that was implemented way back in 1965, so nearly 49 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> and it seeks to educate the youth, mm -hmm. ages 5 to 18, about, yeah. about their Filipino heritage, mm -hmm. and we do that through a lot of classes. Yeah. You guys do um, music classes, mm -hmm. history classes, language, mm -hmm. dance. Dance, and uh, one thing that we have new this year is lifestyle. So it's about cooking, uh -huh. uh, Filipino, uh, Filipino values. Right. Now, for what makes it different this time around compared to other years, you think? Oh, I think one of the things that's different right now is that it's really youth run. Mm -hmm. uh, from the previous years, it has been organized and being promoted by the older generation, but yeah. it's new today that mm -hmm. it's a younger generation taking that mm -hmm. mantle and making sure that the program is going smoothly. Yeah, I remember that because I know you guys took a little bit of a break a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and then actually I think it was you, Zarina, that decided, okay, we need to keep this going. Yeah, right? yes, <laughs> now, definitely. Tell us the importance of why you wanted to do that and why you were so motivated to keep mm -hmm. it going. So I think as a little kid growing up mm -hmm. with the program, I did it in 2003, so I was nine or ten years old. Mm -hmm. I think it really shaped what I thought about culture and mm -hmm. it really gave me a sense of obligation to give back to my community. And when the program went down and I saw how much it had impacted all my, like, my students, mm -hmm. I didn't want it to go down without a fight. So I wanted to bring it back and it was really important for me that it was student run because who would imagine a program where the youth educates the youth, yeah, you know, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's a crazy thing and if it, if it were to be any generation, I know it would be ours, yeah. so. Paula, I yeah. think you told me the same thing the last time you were here, right? Mm -hmm. You wanted to give back to the community. Yes. Yeah, were you also part of this um, organization or program as a kid? Uh, no, actually I just got, got involved as a volunteer then yeah. as a board member, so it was a completely different, you know. For me, it, I grew up in the Philippines, so mm -hmm. Seeing and being able to study here in America, mm -hmm. I saw that there was a need of understanding what the Filipino culture is, yes. and I feel that I had that experience, so I was like, oh, wait, I, I want to share it. Yeah, do you think there's a difference between Filipino and Filipino American culture? Uh, um, definitely there is, especially mm -hmm. with looking at with the Filipino culture, it's more Asian based, it's more family based, and a lot of the American culture now, it's really looking at the, the, the individual itself. Mm -hmm. and sometimes it creates that conflict within the child like am I Filipino am right. I American so yeah. being able to have this program to embrace and understand what the Filipino American culture and identity is yeah very well said now there <laughs> is actually an event coming up this Saturday it's an open house trial day tell us a little bit yes more. so on Saturday it's kind of just a day for everyone to try out the program mm -hmm. to come check it out meet each other meet the other students and it's a really good day for I feel like the parents to experience the subjects that their child will be experiencing during our program yeah. so we're inviting everybody and anyone who wants to come and check out what the program is all about yes. and it's in Norwalk at a Catholic Church it, yes. it's at St. Linus mm -hmm. Catholic Church um, from 9 to 1 mm -hmm. and um, address is um, Actually, we have it on this. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we have it on this. Do you have that on yeah. <laughs> I know. I was like, you're good. I was like, that's good. I, I, I'm putting you on this spot now. Um, tell me a little bit more about the program. I know it's a month-long program, and it's what is it every day? It's Wednesdays and Saturdays. How does it work? Yeah, so it's Wednesdays and Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Wednesdays from six to nine, and Saturdays from 9 to 1. Okay, one. and it's all held at the church? Yes, yes, same venue the whole time. And then is it broken down by age groups? Because I know that mm -hmm. you can be from 5 mm -hmm. years old to 18, to 18 years old. Yes. Yes. Uh, the youngest we have, we are accepting 5 years old and the oldest like 18, and we break it down to 3 different groups. Okay. We have group A, which is the 5 year olds to Aww. the 8 year olds. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the group babies. B, mm -hmm. uh, which is 9 years old to 12, yeah. and group C would be the high schoolers so from 13 and above. Okay, and then can kids decide, okay, I only want to learn history or I only want to learn dance or music or is it just all incorporated? 
It's all incorporated. We've never had a child who said, I just want to learn one thing. <laughs> Usually they're asking for more. So it's kind of run like a summer school. So they have periods essentially and they go rotate. Okay. So it's like a summer school, but I'd say a lot funner. And you, and you guys come up with all the topics and everything. Yes. How mm -hmm. much research do you guys have to go through? Uh, a lot. A lot. <laughs> well, we found we find teachers every year. This year, actually, something new we implemented was an application process, whereas last year we just took who we could find. Yeah. <laughs> but this year we went through even teacher training and volunteer training, so I feel like a lot of us are a lot more prepared and ready to handle oh, this Oh, actually program. I did see that on your Facebook page, all the volunteers yes. and the teachers. You guys uh -huh. have been working hard to, to share our story, our culture through dance, through history. Now for more information, where can we go? So I think the best place for information is our Facebook page, like you were saying, <laughs> which is Filipino Cultural School, and we also have an Instagram up. And from there, we post all our links on our Facebook page. So, And hopefully, you can get an adult class going, because I want to learn more. <laughs> oh, we could. <laughs> I would love to learn the idea. language and the dance. <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. OK, uh, yes. next time. Next time. <laughs> OK, thank you guys so much for sharing this very important program. Thank you thank for you having so us. Yeah, thank you. Again, for more information on Filipino Cultural School and their trials, Day, which is happening this Saturday in the city of Norwalk. The information is on your screen. Time for a quick break, but we have more Holo Holo news when we return.